All right, just follow me. Steven, you gonna get us a rundown here? Give you, you a, a rundown of the trip? Yeah. Absolutely. Here, I got this mic for you. All right, lovely. So what am I, how many you want to introduce? You want to introduce yourself? Absolutely. Tony Mormino here. Uh, Steven Bettina, Green Egg fan. I'm a sales application manager for the North. So. You did that like a true pro. Oh like my, I was diving in. <laughs> I was trying my best here. I'm not great on great. camera, but. Yeah, so what we're showing here today, we have a, this is one of our three mobile learning centers. Specifically right. what we're looking at here, Tony, is our um, Green Hack Fan. It's our warehouse mobile learning center. So all the products you're seeing on this trailer specifically work in manufacturing and distribution center type settings. Right. So these are a couple of the fans. These are more of your high CFM, low static pressure type fans. We have our sidewall prop fans our roof mounted exhaust fans. And a lot of what we're showing today is um, all of uh, the products and accessories that we have, um, some of the strategic advantages uh, from an install perspective, from right. a maintenance perspective, we have our QR codes, and really just kind of showcasing some of our products, the quality and, and what we have here. So. so this is a, now I've been in the industry for 25 years and I'm I'm kind of new to fans, honestly. Yep. Yep. Uh, we started the, being the green hack rep just a few months ago. Mm -hmm. So this is, we call this a propeller roof up blast band. Absolutely, yeah. Because it has a propeller fan in it, I'm, Ex I'm assuming. Exactly, yeah. Because it goes up yep. like this. Absolutely. Now what prevents the water from coming down into the fan? Absolutely, so when that fan is turned on, and you're exactly right, this is a roof mounted belt driven up blast fan. And this, this is a unique one with the MO stands for motor on the outside of the Airstream. So oh, which is over Serviceability here. makes it really easy. So when this fan is turned on, we really have no, um, no real um, quarrel with water getting into the facility. When it is turned off, you'll see there's a slight positive pitch to it. Um, so this damper, this integral uh, butterfly damper will shut nice. because there's no fan power okay. to it. Got that slight positive pitch, so when it's raining, it's gonna hit that and drain down and out. Is so. it just a gravity damper? Does it, it is, just, it is just a gravity fed damper, yep. Okay, yep. It's, locked, it's, in it's locked in place. Cause it's shipping around, you don't wanna bang exactly. it around. Yeah, we don't yeah. wanna bang it around, exactly. Yeah, and we have, and with warehouses and manufacturing facilities, we see that these buildings are designed with a slight positive pressure. So we also show, show some of our accessories like these magnetic latches that hold that that uh, relief damper down in the case that there's a gust of wind or mm -hmm. that slight positive pressure pops it open. So, oh, I see. Yep. And there's fusible links in this guy. Is that, it's a magnet, you said? Yep, yep. It's nice. just a magnet that connects so up to it. So it needs a little more pressure yep, from the exactly. fan to make it. Once that fan turns on, it'll overcome the that magnet and then it'll just pop it right open. And then once it turns off, it'll shut and that magnet will hold it closed here on that position, so. So this is great. So yep. what type of applications would this be in? You mentioned yep. warehouse? Warehousing, yep. So these, this is a low CFM, or excuse me, low static pressure, high CFM uh, application. So a lot of times these go up, these go up to 68,000 CFM in an inch of static pressure. One fan? One fan will do it, wow. yep, yep. Um, now what, so, is this, what is this size here? So what we have here, uh, this is a 42, size 42 if I'm not, oh, excuse me, 24. So 24 inch prop uh, on that guy. So, so this is what's inside? Yep. This is uh, uh, yep. and down this here. Is, yep, okay, exactly. Got it. And that's what these this blade design, what you'll notice is a sweat blade design. Right. It's really designed for that high CFM area um, versus right. uh, if you had a, let's say a power rooftop ventilator or right, a, a mushroom right. style fan, right. that's going to give you a higher static pressure, lower CFM for ducted spaces. So gotcha. just a different fan. Use these typically on the, on the roof of warehouses. You'll see them in lines. So the um, warehouse that's not conditioned, but they want to pull some yep, ventilation through yep, the warehouse. Exactly. Got it. Um, typical ventilation rates are one to three air changes per hour and so they'll take and put these along just to change out that and that can really make a huge fiber. difference between mm -hmm. 110 degrees and uh, 85 degrees exactly. or whatever you pair yeah. these fans um you know these are typically in conjunction with louvers and dampers or some uh way to get that air into the facility so once those louvers open up fan turns on or vice versa yeah um so that you know they work in sync and once they turn off it you know these fans will you know the dampers close the fans will turn off so right really right. simplistic design um really um great fans Again, we have a lot of our stuff that we uh, offer, like these um, these lifting lugs are all a part of this fan, so it's not an accessory. Um, so we just like to tout and show some of our cool stuff that we, we've manufactured and designed. So, yeah. Um, so Excellent. We'll, yeah, a lot okay. of good things. We'll, now, we'll, what do we have over here? Yeah, absolutely. We'll, we'll run over. So this is our um, our model AER. So it's a direct, a -E -R. Yep, direct drive okay. sidewall propeller fan. Um, got a right. very green on here, so it's got an onboard VFD, so you'll notice you can kind of see it on the inside right here. 
So Veragreen is a EC EC motor technology, EC motor yep, exactly. electronically electronically commutated. Yep, from right? the factory pre-programmed. So this and that one means is, high efficiency. Yep, exactly. so it's more efficient than an induction motor with the drive, which is the other way to control the speed. Exactly. Yep. Right. Yep. So, so this one they, pretty they, popular today. Super popular. It's becoming you know direct drive EC motors are becoming more popular not only in right. fans but makeup air units and all of the HVAC equipment we see throughout you know the industry, but. Um, no balance. Again, no balance. Yep. No maintenance. Yeah. Uh, high efficiency. It's low it's, maintenance. Uh, yeah. Low maintenance. Excuse <laughs> me. I've been talking a lot. No maintenance. Very minimal maintenance. Nothing turns off an HVAC off. No, like high said. maintenance. No. This is maintenance free. Yeah, you can just change no. the video right yeah. there. Whoops. Yeah. It all needs maintenance. But yeah. I totally get what you're saying because yeah. when there's not a bell, and you know, these are up on a roof, usually in a place where we're not, there's not people there often. So exactly. going up there to check belts, changing belts, it's a big pain. So I'm a big fan of the direct drive. Absolutely. And so this is, uh, um, is this an axial fan? Um, no, this is, so it's a prop that's similar to it. Um, it's, a, you know, it. this is a 12 blade, uh, cast aluminum blade and hub prop. Okay. So it's really designed from an efficiency standpoint. So typically you'll see this prop on our direct drive models uh, gotcha. versus a belt drive model. Um, we'll see this uh, sweat blade design and really they're a so little it's a bit different, different version of a prop fan. Different version it of a prop fan. It looks just like a vein axial fan. Exactly. Yeah, yep. yeah. It, it really is. So um, really unique in the sense that high efficiency. Um, it actually generates a little bit lower CFM range, but this this particular unit gives really high static pressure. So in the event that you actually got need it. to duct up to it, um, you certainly can do that. It has so that this capability. Is, this is another way. This is a 24 inch as well. Yep. It's another way to do the same thing, except yep. if you've got. 40 foot of duct on it. Exactly. You want to use something like this versus the uplast. Yeah. Is and, that and accurate? Yes. And um, it really depends on if um, the owners wants uh, penetrations in the side of their wall or if they want them on the roof. So right. if, if they're looking and they want nothing on the sight line, um, we're going to go with a roof mounted exhaust fan that's belt driven typically. But if they're looking for more of a cross ventilation where you have the louvers and dampers on one side and then you have that fans on the other side pulling that air through the facility, right. uh, this is a little bit better. So smaller facilities will typically see some of these as well. You wouldn't typically see a, a sidewall prop fan on a really big uh, facility because it's just too much space for that air to oh, get I across. See. It's just not great for air movement. Excellent. So yeah, great, great, great point. And, and again, Belt drive is, is another configuration that we see. It's our model B AER or bear fan. So air and bear is really what we have. But, Got it. But lots of accessories, weather hoods, uh, backtrack relief dampers, all that good stuff. Does here. AER stand for something? Uh, just air. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Got no, it. AER is our, our direct drive uh, sidewall prop fan. B AER or the bear. Is That's just the belt. Belt drive. When yep. you see the B, it's B, for belt. Exactly. Excellent. Yep. Absolutely. So, well, this is great. Yeah. Well, thank you for the rundown. Thanks for coming to the roadshow. Thank you for having me. If you me. want to learn more about it, you know, greenheck.com or call us at Insight Partners or Faulkner Haynes. We're glad to take care of you. So, thank you awesome. so much. Thanks so much, Tony. Appreciate it. Oh, there you go. Yeah. I was like, oh, why? We shook already. Oh. There we go. And thank you for watching.